it's 5.20 and the appointment is at 6 o'clock. There's rush hour and we're running late as always. Not my fault. It's always your fault. <laughs> Thing is, I get ready and then I tell him, I'm like, babe, I'm ready. And then he's like, oh, I can get ready in two minutes. I'm already ready. And then I'm already ready. And what does he do? He's struggling to find something to wear. So we, I have to end up waiting 10 minutes for this person. 10 minutes. <laughs> and what did you choose to wear? You choose to wear this sweater with the weird ass string. <laughs> So today, we are on our way to get our body fat tested. We're gonna get a DEXA scan. I've never gone before. I'm super curious to see what it's gonna say. The protocol, they said just to make sure you're hydrated, you're drinking a lot of water, um, which I do already. Um, you don't have to fast before the scan. You could eat all your normal meals. They just said come in hydrated and don't wear any metal on your clothing. How much do you think my body fat is? Mm. Honestly, I think the average girl, like the average woman's body fat is like 20 to 25%. I think that's average. You need to look into that. Like an average body fat percentage is like 20 to 25. I think right now I would be happy if I'm 20% body fat. I mean, obviously I would like to be lower, but. So for me, I would be happy if I was 20. No, 20 is kind of, is kind of big for a guy. It should be 21. Guys should be like 15 to 20 for active guys. So what do you think your body fat percentage is? 22. Okay, how much do you oh, weigh? Really how much do you weigh? 195. It's all your fault. Okay, I found it. That is me right there. No, it's not. I need this brighter. That's me right there. So, how much do you think your body fat is Come on this chart? 30. <laughs> I think you're 20. I think you're like 20. I am 20. 25 is still pretty lean. Like, you could see some ab definition. And 20, 20 to 22 is like an active woman. I would be happy if I was 20% body fat but most likely I might be, ugh, I don't know. What do you think? I think I'm like 23, 23%. You think you're like 20, 22? Pause this video and then comment down below what you think our body fat percentage is. And just FYI, I'm 120, I'm 123. This morning I was 123.0. So comment below what you think our body fat percentage is. I guess white, I'm not Hispanic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How tall are you? Five foot, three and a half. So you're 63.5. I know, what would you consider you? What do you mean? You're Asian and white. I'm multi. <laughs> I'm mixed too. Oh, you my are? Mom, my mom is native and French, and my dad is Spanish. Okay, so what do you consider yourself? Human. <laughs> Disease. Rheumatoid arthritis. No, you're not a smoker. Yeah. And I'm going to take your weight really fast outside too, okay? Is that okay? Yeah. I've been eating all day and drinking. Oh, that's fine. Okay. I'm gonna be heavier. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay.
So the test is pretty um, straightforward. It's going to scan you and break you down to your three. Go ahead and lie down and watch the arm. And then just scoot up till you touch the top. Most people are not symmetric. So it's very normal for there to be a little change in between the two. So my left side has more muscle than my right side? On um, arms? On the It says um, lean mass left 46. Yeah. That's weird because I'm right-handed. <laughs> Actually put right where it's distributed. So out of that total fat, it's broken down to where? In which region? Your arms, your legs. Some people want to know, like, where am I carrying my weight? Mm -hmm. I know where I'm carrying my weight. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. Most people do. I mean, if you're honest with yourself, you see yourself in the mirror, you, most people know where their weight is. Except for visceral fat. That's the fat that's lining your internal organs that you can't necessarily pinch. I just get rid of my stuff. Calipers don't give you that. It also tells you if you're, what your android and your gynoid ratio is. So android is what most people know of as being apple-shaped. It's the weight that most people carry around their midsection. Um, gynoid is the weight you carry, the fat you carry in your um, hips, thighs, and buttocks. Android is, out of the two, the one that's the most unhealthy is Android, 23.2. You will want your Android to be below 23.2. So for you, it is. So I'm 23% body fat. You were wondering what you were? Yeah. Which is good. Is it? Well, I don't, I'm not a doctor, I can't say, but I'm saying I've seen people that fluctuate a lot higher than that. Uh -huh. If you want to know for sure, look at the table behind you. Look at your age. And so I'm like, age. I'm on like, ideal. That's lean tissue. Everything that's yellow, that's fat. So okay. you can see where your fat is distributed. So you're carrying, it looks like most of yours is around your hips. Right? Yeah. And again, it's probably something you already know. Mm -hmm. So around your hips and around your mid thighs. What am I looking at? So see that plot point? This is your bone mineral density. Like if you fall, it would you break your hip? Well, I'm planning to compete, yeah, in okay. springtime. So that will give you enough time that there should be changes, especially if, you're, if you have a goal that you're getting ready to do a competition. Your weight is Seven percent body fat. <laughs> That's a lot. It's all well, around my than, stomach. It's more than yours. Yeah. That's crazy. Right, was like Mine was twenty-three. Twenty-three. Yeah. So it's not bad. Yeah, it's bad. Like I said, I'm not a doctor, so I can't see what's going on. What does the like. chart say? All I can tell you is, yeah, what studies uh, say. Wait, where, where so are you? Look at your age and look at your total body fat. See where you're at. Jesus. Whoa. Are, are you really? No, you're not. No, you're not. You can't be that high. 27? No, no. And how old are you? 31. Okay. So 27. Dang, babe. Yeah, you're above average. I'm fat? Yeah, you're above average. What the That is crazy. Wait, and where, where am I? Where am I on this chart? I was 23. I'm um, ideal. Yeah, you're ideal. <laughs> so you're two segments above her. I want to see the average. Okay, well, let's see where you're holding all your fat. I'm, <laughs> I'm fat average. Because you're, you don't look. Oh, yeah, yours is in oh, your trunk. Dang, totally. Dang. Dude. It's around, yeah, your midsection in your trunk. Look at And me. a little bit on your, a Whoa. little bit on your thumbs, too. That looks like a heavy person laying there. <laughs> but all that right here, and that's all fat in between there. I mean. Yeah, you have a tire, too. You can see it here. Jesus. It's not necessarily bad, it's what type of fat that you should be worried this about. So look at, let's see so where your fat is. <laughs> so remember I, what I told your wife. So there's android and gynoid fat. Android is like the apple shape. Gynoid is having it around your pear shape. It's like around your hips and thighs. Okay. That's not so bad. 
So your Android, you want that known percentile to be less than your total body fat. Right now it isn't, right? Your total is 20 what? 27? It's higher. Yeah. So remember what I told you? Yeah. There's a high correlation in studies that say if that percentile goes past your total body, there's a high correlation to developing coronary heart disease, high morbidity, diabetes. You know, so if this higher is bad? Is if yeah. this is higher than this. Uh, it is for you. So you definitely are apple shaped. Yeah, I know, and I can't lose it. Even if I get skinny, a lot of it, this believe it or not, thing. has to do with diet. Diet. Yeah. You can go to the gym four or five times a week, but if you're eating a lot of carbs, your body's going to convert them all to fat. If you're not doing marathons, there should be no reason for you to have, be eating carbs. If you're not a long distance, you shouldn't be eating carbs. It should be the good fat, like nuts avocados and lean protein almost all of it i'm gonna turn keto now so that, that means anything that's refined breads pastas rices all that you shouldn't be eating or See, very little of it i i eat a really low carb diet See, that's probably you should be eating a little bit more like her and i i try to make his lunches mm -hmm. and and what, what does he do he buys donuts at oh, work donuts. well they're giving you a donut is this <laughs> I get stressed and I was like, oh, I need a donut. Exercise is good because it keeps your heart and your lungs strong and your muscles strong. But most of those numbers, if you really want them to drop, you have to change your diet. If you don't change this now when you have the energy and the time, you're not going to do it when you're 40. You're not going to do it when you're 50. And you're not going to do it when you're 60. And it's only going to get worse. Don't beat yourself up over it though. Like I said, most That's of the people I scan fall are like you. They're average or above average. But do they look like him though? No. They look bigger. They look I, way I, bigger. I look, I look skinny and people tell me you're, you're like 170. Almost everybody that ends up being apple shaped, coronary heart disease. And that's the sign of killer. You don't get symptoms for that until you fall over from a heart attack. You know those movies where they say, oh no, I feel like I got coronary heart disease. You don't feel it. You don't feel it destroying your, your heart and your blood vessels. I should bring my mom here so she can get scared. <laughs> she gets scared. <laughs> See now how people react after they're they get depressed or right? anything. Yeah. Right? Are like you depressed? Yeah. Think, or they yeah. get shocked. They're like, I'm like you know shocked. I get people that get angry at me sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I just press a button. How can you get mad at me? I'm not the one that's giving you a donut. You're too young to be developing coronary heart disease already. Wow. So let your let your wife help you with those prepared meals. Yeah, let me Cut help. Cut out those yeah. empty cards. That's crazy. Look at this. Dang. Turning into a donut. Uh, Listen to her when she tells you what you should and shouldn't eat. I know. Don't cry. <laughs> you can tell he's upset. Yeah. Oh, baby. But at least now you know where you have to change. What you have to change, right? Yeah. It's a good wake-up call. Like it is. Like I said, you're too young not to do something about it now. To lose, like. Like I said, they're skinny mm -hmm. fat though. There's people that are fit. And it's just they're eating junk food. They're eating really bad. It's not nutritious food. Wow. So. You're like an invisible fat person. <laughs> <I know. laughs> That's what